Hello everyone, and today we're back into another top five, and we're gonna be talking about the top five range attackers in all of Lumion Legacy. These range attackers hit extremely hard, can set up really easily, and has extremely good coverage to hit multiple Lumions. So let's head right onto this top five because this was actually a very hard list to make. Number five under the list is going to be Gargolem Attack. I kind of didn't want to add Gargolem Attack on the list because it can also be classified as a melee attacker, but it has the best coverage out of any Lumion in the game, and it also has the highest range attack stat out of any Lumion in the entire game. It also has an ability which, if you KO a Lumion, will increase your ranged attack, which is simply fantastic. The reason why it is only number 5 is because it has no setup, and it's also extremely frail. And while it has some amazing coverage moves, Earth Air Offensive Stab is just average. But its coverage moves really make it OP. Has Dark Surge, has Boom Bash, it can even mudslide to get rid of barbs. I mean, honestly, all the Gargolem forms have extremely good move pools, which is amazing. But... Gargolem Attack hits the hardest out of all of them, and since it has a very fast speed stat and a very high attack stat, it can do so much damage, and the damage can really snowball. It is weak to Icicle Trap, so it is extremely hard to use, and like I said, this can also be a melee attacker as well. So, it could, it's not higher than number 5, but it's still one of the best range attackers in the game, and it definitely deserves to be top 5 on this list. Number four under the list is going to be Ikazune. Yes, Ikazune makes above Gargolem attack form. But this thing is really good. It has a ranged attack of 139, which is the third most in the entire game. It has a good speed stat. But what makes Ikazune better than Gargolem attack is that it can actually pivot out. It has flash and flee and zip zap. And I know what you're thinking. Plant types wall that, but you have Fire Breath, which can hit all plant types super effectively. I think apart from Malmark and Fantino, and you can hit pretty much most Earth types super effectively as well, which is actually kind of insane because Earth isn't even weak to fire. It's just a lot of the Earth typing, secondary typings, just are weak to fire, which is crazy. Ikazune is fantastic. You can even run a setup one with Magnify and Joel. And yeah, this is basically the ranged attacking variant of Mutagon. While it doesn't have the bulk of Mutagon, it has better coverage and honestly better priority. This thing is fantastic and it can absolutely be an amazing range wall breaker. But it is a little bit frailer, so it's harder to set up. And that's why it's out of the top three. But it causes a lot of offensive pressure. Number three onto the list is actually going to be Wintrix. Yes, Wintrix's range attack is a lot lower than any Lumion on the list. It only has 114 range attack, but it has two amazing abilities. A move that can hit mind type super effectively, peace of mind, which makes it easy to set up, and a healing move. Yeah, this thing has a lot going for it. It's probably the easiest Lumion on the list to set up with besides number one. And with Brain Freeze hitting mind types, meaning that you can actually hit many different typings in the game. And while Ice Air is a very bad offensive typing, Wise neutralizes it, meaning you can pretty much hit anything in the game for neutral damage, making Wintrix one of the most threatening Lumions in the game. You can also run the Chilled ability to hit harder. And I know what you're thinking. Worst offensive typing in the game. Nobody knows that that Wintrix is chill unless it does one attack. So you literally do not know if that Wintrix is chill until it does one attack. Meaning the threat of the wise Wintrix is still there. You can run both Wintrixes and it can be extremely dangerous. Not to mention that after a piece of mine, it does actually get some solid range bulk after a piece of mine. And the fact that it could heal up with Perch makes Wintrix one of the best range attackers in the game, despite only having 114 range attack. It definitely deserves top 3 in the game based on its abilities alone. And the great offensive typing combined with Wise makes it number 3 on the list. Number 2 onto the list is actually going to be Deludrix. Again, this is a Lumion that doesn't have the highest range attack stat. 122 is high, but not as high as the other Lumions on the list. But it has the best coverage out of any Lumion in the entire game, while also having Zip Zap. 
Yes, this thing is frail as heck, but not as frail as Gargolem Attack. It also has Pivot, which Gargolem Attack doesn't have, which helps a whole lot. Zip Zap Pivot is fantastic. This is a Bug-type Lumion that can hit Stratosaur quad effectively. You even have Clay Slap. You have Clay Slap to hit Venolin if you really want to. You could run Jetstream to hit Brawler types. And Bug Water, while it is a pretty questionable offensive typing, can hit pretty much anything neutrally, which is really good. Combine that with the Electric move and the Air move, and this thing is one of the hardest-hitting Lumion Legacy range attackers in the entire game. The Ludrix with Pivot makes it extremely threatening. And while it cannot hit the hardest in certain occasions, it's still amazing. With a fast speed stat and solid range attack with amazing coverage, makes Deludrix one of the best range attackers in the entire game. And adding Pivot on top of that puts it at number two on the list. If it wasn't as frail, it would probably be number one. The honorable mentions on this list, and the honorable mention number one is Teclipse. The Eclipse doesn't have the highest range attack, so I don't consider it an amazing range attacker. Although it has total Eclipse, which it can increase its speed, and an amazing offensive typing. This thing could still chunk a lot of Lumion's health, although range attackers can wall this thing better than other Lumions. So that's why the Eclipse is only an honorable mention. The second honorable mention is Revenine, and just like with the Clips, it doesn't have the highest range attack, but it has very good offensive coverage and with a very good ability. If you have a Lumion on your team that has fainted, Revenine can come in and do double the damage. That can absolutely, completely destroy teams, which is awesome. But since it only is after a Lumion has fainted, it's only an honorable mention. The best range attacker in all of Lumion Legacy is... Pyrolin. Yes, I know everyone uses Pyrolin defensively, but the way it is used offensively and defensively makes Pyrolin number one on the list. Has 133 range attack, has a decentish speed stat, it's the bulkiest Lumion on this list, has peace of mind, and it has Kirillin coverage. And everyone knows that Kirillin coverage is probably some of the best coverage in the entire game. The only Lumions you can't really hit with it is, I guess, Luminami and Barblast, but even then, you can hit pretty much anything else. You can run the Volcanic Pyrolin and hit just hit extremely hard. A plus one Pyrolin can one-shot anything from neutral damage in the entire game. Pyrolin is insane. And while it isn't the fastest, it hits the hardest. And with Fanning Flame and Rainful Plush, you can get the plus three Pyrolin in one attack. That is a little bit nuts. Plus three Pyrolin. And if you combine a piece of mine on top of that, then you're at plus four, and you cannot die, and you can destroy pretty much any Lumion in the entire game. That's why Pyrolin is the best range attacker in all of Lumion Legacy. While having some great range bulk to boot, it definitely deserves number one. And here it is. The best range attacker in all of Lumion Legacy. So yeah, there's my top five. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. If there are some range attackers on that are off the list that I miss, tell me in the comments below. That will be the end of the video, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!